Here's a problem I had to solve recently when deploying my Next.js application to Vercel. Now in this case, I'm specifically using Prisma as an ORM on top of my Zeta database. And there's actually two different aspects of this that I need to solve for. One is specific to Prisma and one is specific to Zeta. Let's take a look. Now, the number one thing to keep in mind with Prisma is the types that Prisma gives you. So in this case, I'm referencing a deal type and a subscriber type. This is for the deals for devs project. Uh, these types are gonna be stored inside of node modules. So what happens is Prisma goes through this build process to generate those types based on your Prisma schema. And then it generates those TypeScript types and then dumps those into the node modules folder, which so that they'll be available in your application. Now, what's interesting, though, is we have to actually tell Prisma to do this inside of our build command. So in this case, in Next.js, we have a build command that runs. I'll come back to CodeGen in a second. But we want to make sure that we run Prisma generate to generate those types for us in our build system. So we deploy our application to Vercel. We run the Prisma generate command, which looks at the schema, generates those types, and then they're available to us inside of the application. So that's probably something you've seen before, but there's also something I have to solve for when using Zeta. So in this case, we're using Zeta for a few different things. It's our core database, and at its core, it is using Postgres. So in that sense, we can use Prisma to do all the CRUD operations just like we would with any other CRUD database or with any other Postgres database. But there's a couple of things that come with Zeta that are different that we need to accommodate for. So if I go to dealsfordevs.com, one of the things that it does for us, and I've talked about this on the channel, is it does search. So this is just an API that calls the Zeta APIs that are built for us that then does intelligent search uh, based on our query. Now this is actually replicating data to Algolia behind the scenes, so we actually have a full search experience. But to do that, that's not something that is built into the Prisma, the stuff that Prisma supports or the stuff that Postgres supports. The other thing is if we go to add a deal, the form input to handle an image upload, and I don't know if I have a good one. Let's do this one. So this image has been uploaded. This is from Zero to Mastery. We have an exclusive discount code on deals for devs for Zero to Mastery, a higher percentage than you're likely to find anywhere else. You can check it out at dealsfordevs.com. But when we upload this image, this is actually going to be stored in our Zeta database under an image or a file column type. This is not something that is an inherently part of Postgres. This is a kind of a wrapper thing that Zeta has built to give us access to file storage so we don't have to use something like S3 separately. So those are two features that we need to be able to interact with outside of Prisma. And that's where the Zeta SDK comes, comes in. And for this Zeta SDK to work, we're actually referencing the Zeta SDK. So if we go into the API route for our search, what we do is we get a Zeta client and then we reference that to be able to call the search functionality that it has and we tell it which properties to search on. So the big problem here is we need to generate these types for this client to work, but these types may be different from different environments. And this is something that I think often gets overlooked that you need to think about when deploying your application is where are all the different places that you might run this. So in this case, we run this locally. We also have inside of Vercel, we have a couple of different environments that we run in as well. So where can under settings, domains. Okay. So here we have a few different places where we deploy versions of deals for devs. We have staging.deals for devs, test.deals for devs, dev.deals for devs, and then the regular main deals for dev site. And what's interesting is the data model associated with each of those might be different. And the way we do this in Zeta is with branching. So inside of here right now, we just have two branches. We have a dev branch and a main branch. So this means that when we generate these types, this needs to be based on the appropriate environment that it's being deployed to. So when I'm running locally, this needs to be connected to the dev branch. When I have this deployed to one of those different environments, it should either go to the dev branch or eventually a staging branch or the main branch. So how do we actually decide where that happens? Well, the first thing is we don't want to uh, check in these Zeta files that get auto generated or they get generated for us. So if we look down here, we're ignoring the Zeta RC, which is a configuration file. So here's the Zeta RC. This basically just says, what's the database URL that we're connected to? So it knows which database, not yet which branch, that's an environment variable that we have configured. So it ignores that file, it ignores the Zeta TS source file, and then it ignores the Zeta directory as well. This is to make sure that when we actually deploy this, 
I'm not getting someone, I'm not connecting to someone else's database and I'm not just connecting to a hard coded database. This should come from an environment variable inside of Vercel. So what we do is inside of our package.json, not only do we call the Prisma generate, but this is where we call Zeta code gen. And with Zeta code gen, this is going to generate those types that then get used in the rest of the application. So for this to work inside of Vercel, if we go to our settings, we're gonna to have to have environment variables to accommodate for all of these different properties. So if we look inside of here, we have four different versions of the database URL, four different versions of API key, four different versions of the branch, et cetera. I think the database URL in here is actually the same. The differentiator is the actual branch that we're working on. So that's one of the cool things about Zeta is we have branches to work with and separate our data and then to be able to push schema changes to individual ones. But we have four different versions of all these Zeta credentials or environment variables based on production, staging, dev, and preview. And that way, because we're not checking in any of that source code, when we deploy this and build it, it's actually going to build the appropriate set of data, which is really, really important. Now, this became additionally important as we had more people working on the project. So I couldn't just check in source code that said in the Zeta RC, I couldn't just check in source code that's connected to my database because then what about someone else running locally on their machine and in these different environments as well. So because of that, none of this Zeta generated code should be checked into source code and it should be built on demand uh, when this thing is actually being built on the server inside of Vercel getting ready to be deployed. So similar concept with the Prisma generate, this is gonna generate those types based on the schema. The schema is something you check in because this should be consistent uh, across the board. As people are making changes to this, they'll create PRs, then it'll get merged to dev, staging, et cetera. And then the last thing that I wanna do is update the build command to actually run a Prisma DB push. So the Prisma DB push will, what we'll do is we'll do the Zeta code gen to generate all of that. We'll do Prisma generate to get, gener to get types from Prisma. And then we would run a DB push to push those changes to the appropriate environment based on the branch environment variable. Right now I'm just running those locally uh, and then deploying the application, but that should be part of the build process too. So those are just a couple things to think about if you're deploying a database specifically using Prisma. And then in this case, we have some additional work to do because of those features that we get from Zeta, which are pretty helpful. So Zeta is one of my partners, super enjoy working with them and building deals for devs. They're definitely worth checking out for your next project if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed the video of kind of an overview of things that I'm going through and deploying this application and things that I've learned. Hope it's valuable. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.